Hi, everybody. I'm so excited and so grateful that Vivi made a, a whole folder for us in the public shared folders on our Google Drive, doing friends' artwork, characters. Look at this. These are all Project World characters. I need pictures of Project World characters because I do so much with them. Kevin will tell you how I nagged him to pieces when Project World first came out so that I could get lots of really great pictures because uh, I use them in my TPRS, which is Teaching Proficiency Through Reading and Storytelling. And I've already talked about that. Let me just talk about some another thing I've been doing with them. Just as a really quick reminder about what TPRS is and how I use the Project World characters for that, I have a whole video for it on my uh, YouTube channel. But in a nutshell, I have the students choose a character or characters. And then I take goofy pictures of them and I make a, a donkey little story, a very, very short story about them and um, walk through Lillian Fall stuff or in a clothing store. Are they at school? No, they're not at school. Are they, um, come on, my thing's not working. Are they in the movie theater? No, they're not in the movie theater. Um, Fall stuff says, I love these clothes. Does he love calculators? No, he doesn't love calculators. Does he love sofas? No, he doesn't love sofas. So just walk them through uh, basically vocabulary. But I've also been doing this other thing that is super fun. Oh my gosh, it's been so much fun. So I call six random students up to the board. Now I have a friend librarian, make friends with your local librarian. That's like the best piece of advice I can give you. And I said to her, I need sound effects. Help me find a sound effect library. And she went right to uh, the shelves and she pulled out the BBC collection of sound effects and I ripped them all. This program I use is Active Inspire, but um, you could do uh, PowerPoint just as easily or something else, okay? So I've got all these random sound effects and I pull the students to the board and I don't know, they choose this. I don't know, they choose this. Oh, they'll choose a picture. Oh, they'll choose fall stuff. They'll choose, uh, oh, here's a good picture of Vikram. Um, what do I have here? Oh, Duo as Elsa, okay. And they choose another sound effect. Let's get this one, okay. Then I play it. Sounds like a nice summer day. Fall stuff looks a bit confused about it though. Okay. Oh, that's a dentist drill. I guess it comes in the dentist's office. Oh, and Duo Elsa has caught a cold. Okay, so I say, okay, guys, here's your pictures and your sound effects. Put them together into a story. So uh, maybe, I don't know, it's a beautiful summer day and fall stuff is uh, walking around, but then he hears Vikram in pain at the dentist's office. That's why Vikram's making that expression. And... um uh i guess elsa knows that if it's cold and not summer then maybe vikram can get out of his dental appointment somehow so whatever the students want however crazy it is oh this has been so much fun they're writing in the target language and then you can have them share with each other so then they're speaking in the target language you can have them present to the class so then you get that actfl component of presentation uh there's so much you can do with this uh it's just uh an idea i had for how I use the Project World characters. So please tell me all the ideas you have because I'm just having a blast with Project World. So let me know your ideas.